Listen, an unexpected trend has taken off online of people filming themselves getting let go from their jobs. So why don't we take a look at one that currently has 3 million views posted by Brittany Peach. We finished our evaluations of 2023 performance. We've decided to part ways with you. Yeah, I'm going to stop you right there. It's just very, very shocking. To be let go is like a huge slap in the face from a company that I really wanted to believe in. If you'd be open to it, I'd love to move into what the next steps are. Okay. Wow, so from recording uh, recording in the workplace, understanding your rights as an employee, our next guest is here to answer all of your burning questions going viral on hashtag employment talk. Please <laughs> welcome back to the show, lawyer Lily Kudin. Welcome back. that I'm sure is on everyone's mind, at least mine, is it legal to record a conversation like that? In Canada, you can record a conversation as long as you have the consent of one person participating in the conversation, and you can be that person. No way! Wow. Okay. So as long as you are in the conversation, <laughs> you can record it. If you are not in the conversation and you have no consent, it's a no-go. Okay, that's amazing. So you can be the person giving consent. Okay, fascinating. Oh, in 2021, the chief executive of Better.com took a leave of absence after a video, um, you may remember this, of him firing hundreds of workers on a Zoom call went viral. So you're allowed, by, by what you just said, like, are you still allowed to, to record your boss? Yeah, your boss is like any other person. So if you are in a conversation with them, you can record it legally. But you have to consider if you're at work, there may be other factors at play. So often you will sign workplace policies. Some of these may say explicitly, you cannot record anyone oh. at work. You also mm. probably have confidentiality obligations. So you cannot share any private information of the company. If the boss was talking about confidential mm -hmm. items and then you release this video, you could be in big trouble. You also have to think about what it's going to do to your working relationships with your mm. colleagues, with your boss. People tend to speak a certain way when they know they're being recorded and a very different way when they're not. Yeah. And it can feel mm -hmm. very icky to learn that you have been recorded without your knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People are not going to want to gossip with you by the water cooler if they find out that you have been recording them. And if your boss loses confidence in you, you could actually get fired. Mm. Okay. So listen, yeah. let's say a former employee decided to take action against their employer. So would these holdings, act uh, these recordings hold any weight at all? Yeah. They can be very compelling evidence. Think about like how many times have you said to your partner or significant other like I told you this last week no you didn't yes I did uh. imagine pulling out a recording yes I actually told you <laughs> yeah. so they can be very compelling but even if they're compelling it doesn't mean that you're allowed to use the recordings it depends on whether you got them legally so okay. did you have the consent of someone who was participating were you sort of manipulating the conversation to mm. elicit a certain response all of these things are mm. open to challenge and it will be up to a judge to decide that's mm. very interesting all right so these viral videos are sparking a larger conversation about workplace transparency. So talk to us about the new pay transparency legislation that's coming to Ontario. Yes, it's not law yet, but Ontario may join other provinces and many states across the U.S. as well in implementing pay transparency rules that basically say if you are posting a job that you're going to hire for, you need to put a pay range so that yes. prospective yes. candidates know in advance yeah. what the job pays. And exactly, it could be really good for potential employees and even for people who already work at a company. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important, this pay transparency? It's very important because if you've applied for a job recently, you know how much time, energy, and yeah. effort goes into that application. And there's nothing worse than learning when you're five steps down the road that you never would have accepted it anyway because the pay right. is not good enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other thing about it that makes it so important is that it puts more information in the hands of employees at a company. So imagine seeing a job just like yours that were posted online, all of a sudden you know what your company is willing to pay. Mm -hmm. That's and great. It's very important because we know that there are some groups like women, for example, that mm -hmm. are consistently underpaid compared to other groups of people. Mm -hmm. So getting more information in their hands is very useful. Always a good thing. I love yeah. that. Okay, so what can you do then if you learn that someone who has the, the same job as you is making more money? We have in Ontario as well as across Canada equal pay for equal work rules but they require that you be paid the same or that you not be discriminated against in your compensation if you have substantially the same skills, education, training, and substantially the same job, meaning responsibilities, scope of work, all of that. 
you know from working at an organization that it's difficult to find another person who really is substantially the same as you. Yeah. And we also want to allow for flexibility in the negotiation process. You know, I may want more days of vacation and I'm happy to take a bit less money for that. And you may feel the opposite and that's fine. So it, it's challenging to find someone exactly in your position. But what isn't fine is when we know, as I said, that there are some groups of people who are consistently paid less. And we see that with women, for example, the pay gap grows and grows and grows. And pay transparency rules are supposed to be one step right. in the right direction toward fixing that. Mm. Okay, let's go back to Brittany that we showed at the top of the show. Mm. So now like everybody, has, three million plus people have seen this video and like she needs to get another job because she just got fired. Mm. So how can she earn a future employer's trust yeah. now yeah. that yeah. she's TikTok famous? Yeah, you, I mean, the number one answer is go back in time and be more careful and maybe don't post the video, but yeah. absent a time machine, you have to really have the story in your mind of why you did it and why you feel it was necessary and why things may be different. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you post anything on social media, you have to remember that it makes a, a mark that's there forever. Not just for you and for 20 years down the road when you're looking for a more serious job, mm -hmm. but also for the other person. You know, you kind of want to let them move on with their lives as well. So always think twice before you post something online because it really has a, a, a permanent, it leaves a permanent record. But she went viral, Lily. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that worth something? And how much does that pay? Yeah, how much does that pay? Uh, that's a whole other segment, Lily. Great to have you back. Thank you so really much. Great. Thank you. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.